guess if you caught it on video, it might be pretty interesting. Come on, lady disgruntled mechanic. I need that new tool. I have to go buy it. Steve, Rob, and Eric O both have the tool. I need it. I really do. Hey, folks. Your favorite 98 percenter here on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic. I was just looking at the way I have the bucket propped up here with this uh, 4 by 6 I guess it is and uh, don't want the bucket to fall on me I guess. I guess if you caught it on video it might be pretty interesting. You know, that, that uh, don't know if you guys ever seen that Faces of Death. Yeah. Eh, anyhow, enough of that crap. <clears throat> so anyhow. Today what I'm working on is my Case 580C uh, backhoe. I'm going to be putting the radiator in it. Uh, I got a brand new radiator and um, the story behind this is the, the water pump started leaking. So I replaced the water pump last year. Um, got it running but it still seems to overheat and it seems that the antifreeze is not circulating. So I'm going to work on trying to get the, this radiator in and I hope it works. The gentleman before me, he actually said he put a head gasket in it. So I'm not too sure how good of a job he did and if that might not be a problem. But uh, we'll see what happens. We'll go from there. But I got a big truck coming in now so we'll get back to it when I start taking it apart. You got to take this hair cover off first to get that out of the way and then you can start taking all this off. Um, there's four bolts in this cover. It's loose because when I worked on it before I didn't put it on because I didn't know what kind of problems I'd have so I just left it on there loose because I was pulling the that part of it on and off to check things. So basically I have the bolts out and all it does is lift stuff off, off of there. Um, uh, I won't show that, it's just lifting it up off of there. I'll show you what it's like after I get it off. Uh, you got to pull the little cap off your air intake back here. And then the whole piece will just pull right up. So I'll get it off of there and uh, then we'll be back once we got it off, show you a picture and we'll get back when I start ripping this front apart. Hopefully the fuel delivery will be gone and it'll be quiet here. Normally it is, except on the day when I want to do a video. Oh well. I got my pan down under there. That's the first thing because what I'm going to do is, since the pet cock on this is all screwed up, you can see there the bottom radiator hose. I mean it's nothing, nothing super, nothing great. It goes in uh, right back in there. I'm just going to take the the hose clamp off, pull that hose and let everything drain, catch what I can in the pan because I think it's good and I'll reuse some of the antifreeze. So that's all I'm going to do right now is drain this out which um, you know no big deal so I'm going to start that. Oh and the other thing I'll do is um, I'll take the radiator cap off up there too. So we'll do that and get this draining and we'll go from there. Uh, be back. Got it draining. Now what we got to do is remove these bolts, I think this was somebody's custom made jobby here. Um, I'm going to move the camera a little closer, but remove these bolts. And there's two down here in the bottom, same way. We'll get those out of there, uh, pull this apart. I don't think we have to take this off. Oh, I forgot to take my cap off, like I said. Got a new cap with the radiator, too. So, we'll take these off, pull this grill out see what I can get to. You know, th This might not be much of a job. I didn't really look at it when I had it apart before. So let me move the camera around, get you a better shot in here of what I'm doing, and we'll go from there. The one thing that sucks about working out here is when I come out here, and if I don't remember the tools that I need, then um, they're at home and they're not here. So uh, somehow I grabbed my metric sockets where you know, how much of this uses metric sockets. But anyhow, 16 millimeter will work for now on this old girl, so let's zip them off. One nice thing is, last time I worked out here, I didn't have air for my air tools. You know, I was donated an old Campbell Haas field, two horse compressor. 
which is good enough. Okay, there's those. Take the bottom ones out. Um, I had this part before. I'm going to show you <clears throat> what I'm going to do here. But just to get that neck out, I think you have to take this shroud off to get this whole freaking radiator out because you can't go back anymore because of the uh, because of the um, fan and the and the engine back there. But what I'm going to do is um, let me get, grab the camera here and I'll show you. We got those cooler lines there, and of course this cooler is hooked up to the radiator. So I'm going to take these hoses off because I had them off before, and I'll try and pry them out. I, I hate doing that because this thing, you can see how nasty this thing looks. I don't want to bend it up anymore. But rather than unhooking these, there's four bolts. Rather than unhooking the bolts in here off of this, I think I'll take this, and I'll try to take this radiator out as a whole assembly. Um, I may be able to tilt the bottom forward enough to get it out of there. Uh, I hate taking, I hate to take this loose. I hate to take this loose because it's heavy and I'm by myself. So, and the radiator is held on by, there's, uh, there you can see them, by those supports over there. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these hoses off and get try and get those down and pull this radiator back this way see if I can get this cap you know get this neck to fit down in and just just tilt this whole assembly out hopefully I can probably get to that other one, but hopefully I can pull I can pull up out of here on this one. I mean, this radiator really doesn't look bad on the outside, but that doesn't mean that the outs the inside isn't shot. No. Okay, so we got those loose. Now I'm gonna have to loosen these side bolts here. I forget what size they are, but we'll get those out. See if we can get this son of a gun out of here. Just 9/16th. There's not many more bolts to take this shroud off, but it's just so damn heavy. But I'd like to get this done today because I do have other jobs to do. I've got the pinion seal, the rear pinion seal on the rear, my door max to put in. I got uh, an axle seal to put in that. Try and get that thing inspected. I got to get that fixed too. So much to do, so little time. Uh, I gotta look here, I think there's... Yeah, I'll have to take these. There's bolts underneath here that hold this bottom on. So I'm going to have to take them off also after I get these off to make it able to move. Get the radiator to move out of there. Alright, this one has that. Okay. I know I'm going to grab my air ratchet here because it's tangle and everything and everything's gonna ah! flop. Alright, smaller, of course.
can't believe I didn't bring my freaking standard ones. I also need some power steering fluid for this, which I forgot, before I can actually move it. There it went. Let me pick that stuff up later. Ha! Dummy. I pulled the wrong one out on this side. What did you guys tell me? I pulled the wrong one out on this side because I pulled the one out that uh, holds the mount. Jesus. Well, either way, we're loose now. Actually, that was stupid too. Stupid, stupid, stupid. pull that one out too because then these whole mounts will come out with it rather than uh, I don't know how good the, it shows but it got an L bracket in here that's hard where these ones that are hooked on to to this side here they're just rubber mounts so let's take this one off like we did the other side then it's off of it's unhooked from here and just on the radiator we'll see how that works Now we got the ones on the bottom to take off. That should make our top loose. Okay. So now I got these ones underneath. They're down underneath here. I'll take those out a while. Uh, I don't know what size they are. Hopefully they're the same size as this. We'll crawl over there. Get some antifreeze in the eyes. Okay, it actually looks like it's best to get them from the sides here, so I'll try to get the right size. I'll have to get it on a ratchet. Let's go over the other side. Uh-oh, just dropped a nut. Hate when that happens. Yeah, there's a lot more crap in the way over here, of course. I guess it'd be a good idea to unhook the top radiator hose. That'll probably make the radiator come out a little easier. Since it didn't appear this was out, I took it off the uh, gooseneck that, that goes down, the hose work goes down to the gooseneck on the other side. So let me see how we make out.
So there it is, it's out. Looks like those side plates have to be <clears throat> um, mounted back up. I'm assuming this is all the same size. Uh, I don't know, I'm going to have to measure them side by side. This is supposed to be the one for this. Okay, it uh, looks right to me. You just have to take these sides off and mount stuff back up. So, what I'll do is take these four bolts off, let the cooler hooked up, just slide it over the new radiator, hopefully, and uh, put it back in there. I'm going to have to do it out here. Because I'll never be able to do it in there, I don't think. So, yep. Let's get to it. That's the plan as of now. difference here what the scoop is but um, this has these clips on that holds the overflow hose and the other one didn't have it on to have these on there so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to take those off break them off or whatever These look like they're the same width and everything, same height, so this one must have just had that on, so, yeah, I'll the so probably I'm just going to break them off to be able to get this on because it's needed. <sighs> hey, not the best solution. But I used what I had. I used an old Harbor Freight screwdriver and my half inch drive ratchet because I was too lazy to go get a hammer and we knocked them off of there the best we could. So let's see how this fits in here now. Get her back in. I'm going to take the radiator cap off just because of ease of getting in there. Normally I won't, so I won't want to get anything in it, but.
Now, you remember how we did this? I know we're going to have to get that in first. set it in back there and of course that's hitting up top there's there's bolts up here that hold this this here on which is in our way normally that wouldn't be if that wasn't on there but they had a lock on this thing so that's part of the problem there well it's not part of it it is the problem if I had that extra freaking inch I think this would go in line up. All I'm doing is trying to move this fan just a hair. It looks like the fan's what's sort of holding it right now. tightened up. I'm not going to worry about anything until I get it all tightened up and uh, then we'll go from there. So I'll start putting bolts in and assembling it. I'll leave the camera run and I'll just start putting it all back together and see what, see what happens.
I tightened everything up. I'm just getting ready to put antifreeze in. As you may have seen, I this neck, I don't know, this metal ain't too good. Of course, I was forcing it in, so it would be my fault if it leaks. Stupid. What am I going to say? But I don't have the two nuts on the bottom, uh, but everything is pretty tight. I am going to get the nuts for it. I'm just doing this for the sake of getting this running and then making sure I don't see any leaks and to show it here in the video, and then I'll get the nuts and put them on. I had to run this outside because I said it somewhere in the video, I think, where this overflow hooks on. Actually, mine on the old one's bent on a 90. Well, this won't go down through the hole. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to do that because it, it bends too hard here. Um, I got it so it seems the fan don't hit turning it by hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this till I get the radiator filled. I'm going to go turn it over after that um, with the kill switch on so it just turns and doesn't start. Um, and if nothing hits and I don't hear any nasty noises, we'll fire it up and let it run and let, uh, try and fill it with antifreeze. How's that? I guess it's not going in too fast. Not too good of a sign, I don't think.
Well, there you have it. I'm running out of battery and got to close this one out. And um, I, I'm not too sure if we did good or if we didn't do good. The uh, we still got some overflow coming out, but maybe it's still overfilled. I'll run it and I'll find out. Maybe it was a bust putting the new radiator in. Even so, if she has more problems, she's still going to get ran until she don't go anymore. So there it is. That's how to put a put a radiator in your case uh, 580C backhoe. So once again, this is your favorite 98 percenter, and you saw some of it today on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic. Until next time. Oh, and I almost forgot. Just remember, if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Till next time.